Hi guys and welcome back. Uh, Andrew Blair White here from Witch Bookie and I know I haven't done too many of these anti-post videos since being with Witch Bookie but I thought with the Galway Festival just around the corner that it was as good a time as any to try and get a couple in. Obviously so far July has gone pretty well as a month with the day-to-day -day selections and hopefully that might continue onwards onto next week with Goodwood and Galway and I'm sure I'll be doing plenty of those day-by-day -day previews on the website to so make sure to check that out when you get an opportunity. But this anti-post selection is going to come in the Galway Hurdle, one of the trickiest handicap hurdles of the year in Ireland, but also a very lucrative prize. And it sees Belfast Banter at the top of the market, who won the County Hurdle for Peter Fay and Kevin Sexton before going on to win the Grade 1 Top and Officers Hurdle at Aintree. Hard to know the form of that race, though, with Do Your Job coming second, and he was previously a long way behind my Drogo at Kelso, so very hard to know. Uh, what sort of form that might amount to. More so my issue with Belfast Banter though is the way he has to be ridden and I'm just not sure around Galway whether it's going to be potentially the best way in the world to have to ride your horse. We saw Robbie Parr win on Tudor City from the rear a couple of years ago but it's a very hard feat and you usually have to be a little bit further handy with the pace. Belfast Banter is the type of horse that likes to stalk, likes to come right from the rear, make his way through horses and obviously pounce of a good pace. There's a lot of unknowns. Will he get a gap at Galway? Will he be hampered? And at a favourite's price, I'm willing to let that slide. Instead, who I'm going for is Copperless for Ollie Murphy. And I suspect if he was to come over, it would be ridden by Aidan Coleman. He's off a mark of 140 in this, which is a stone higher than winning the Swinton Hurdle last time out. But he won the Swinton Hurdle by eight and a half lengths to Cormier, Comprand and Roland Ward, including beating, uh, beating Shan Rowe uh, for Carl Thornton, who had previously won a competitive handy cap hurdle at the Ferry House Easter Festival in Ireland. So there's a little bit of cross form there. Prior to that worm in the Swinton at Haydock, he came down at two out in the conditional jockeys handicap hurdle at Aintree when I think he would have won. Again, Roland Ward won that race from Comprom, but I thought he was travelling all over them when taking off right out of Lewis Stones' hands. Even prior to that, you look at his back form from Market Raisin and Taunton earlier in the season, where he beat Hooper at Market Raisin and Shea Hands at Taunton. Cooper's gone on to win five races since being beaten by Copperless, and Shea Hans has won four races since being, cop being beaten by Copperless. So you have to say that it looks good form in the book. He wants a bit of better ground, which is what he's going to get at Ballybrit, and even though he's not been completely confirmed for the race, he was earmarked for it by Ollie Murphy after the win at Haydock and also Ali Murphy doesn't seem to have any issues bringing horses over. Hunter's Call came over for him last year to finish fourth in the race so it wouldn't surprise me to see this horse take its chance. He's currently 12 to 1 with Paddy Power with five places available anti-post and as much as you might get six places on the day I think that's a very fair price because I believe if this horse has been entered and is there on the day he's going to be a much shorter price than 12 to 1 so I'm going to take that and hopefully we'll get a runner for the first time for one of my anti-post selections but also that he can run very well i see no reason to suggest why he won't his jumping is getting better uh, he jumped an awful lot better at haydock than he did at aintree he's a progressive horse and i think even a mark of 140 is still below him i think he could be a better horse than that and hopefully copperless can do the job for the english raider ollie murphy